Why hello, I'm Matt Pritchard and this is Cooking at Docks. We're going to show you today how to impress your Valentine with your cooking skills. And I'm Jake Lambert and we're making trifles. Welcome back everybody, as we said, I'm Matt Pritchard. I'm Jake Lambert. And we're cooking at Ducks. And you know, it's, it's that time of year when you got your, your baby mamas, your honeys, your boo-boos, your uh, snookums. Partners. Partners, whatever you want to call them. And it's Valentine's Day. They are looking for the premier treat of the day. And you know, you can go to CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, buy them candy, a box of candy, a nice box of chocolates for, you know, $10, $20. Or instead, you can put in the effort and make them a perfectly made trifle. And today we're gonna to show you just how to do that. Uh, so, starting off, first step, wash your hands. We've already done that. We're ahead of the game. Did you? I didn't see you wash your hands. I may have washed my hands, I may not. We'll leave it up to you to decide. A little mystery I'm gonna, episode. Uh, I'm gonna roll up my sleeves so we can get the, uh, our first step out of the way. First step, we'll go over the ingredients of what we have. We have some nice pre-made cake that we made overnight just so we could expedite the process. That's right here. We got some nice fresh strawberries and create a nice fruity layer in our trifle. We got some nice Oreos because you know, who doesn't love Oreos and double stuff because we're not weird. Yeah, double stuff. I mean, who eats single stuff? Like that's the losers. Yeah, weird Jeez. people. And then we got some nice whipped topping that is gonna make a nice white creamy filling in our trifle. Wow. So. Jake, if you'd like to take us through the first step of tearing apart our first layer of the trifle, is we're gonna rip this into shreds, nice bits, and put it in the bowl for a nice first layer. Okay, like Matt said, just with our hands, just really rip it up, really get in there. Oh, wow. Feels like a pillow, a brownie pillow. Wow. As you can see, he's tearing it apart. Wow. It's going to make a nice crummy bottom. Good word. Good word. Very good word. All right, that's probably good. <laughs> and now that we have a nice crummy bottom, we're going to focus on doing our first, our second layer, which uh, we can decide. Should we do two brownies? No, I think one's good. One's good. We're going to layer it. We're going to layer true, it. True, true. So we got one at the bottom, nice crumbs. We're going to focus on chopping up our strawberries and crushing some Oreos. Uh, Jake? You wanna I'll show crush people some Oreos. How to crush some Oreos. I'm not allowed to be near a knife or a sharp object. So, do you want to cut the strawberries? We'll do it one at a time. We'll just show them exactly what you're doing, and then I'll, I'll get to my process. We'll I like to do it seven at a time. Toss them in the bag that we used for our brownie cake thing. And I guess with this, right? Yeah, I'm gonna take the rolling thing, crush them up. Hopefully none of your Valentine's dreams are getting crushed. Oh, and make sure there's no air in the bag, because then the bag will pop. Wow. I should probably do more Oreos. Probably so. So while he's doing the Oreos, I'll show us all how to do some nice strawberries. Now, no one likes the leaves on the strawberries. Make it in your trifle. This doesn't taste very good. And even if you're a vegetarian, it's not very tasteful. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some strawberries, Chop those off, chop them into nice little bits that'll make a nice level for our trifle. We're gonna keep, keep I'm just going to do a ton, actually. There you go. There you go. And now one of the things about strawberries is it's a very uh, Valentine's Day treat. A lot of people like to do chocolate-covered strawberries, which, you know, we could do that. But instead of sticking with the norm, this is just another way to go about it. I'm going to add some... <coughs> Thicker-cut strawberries. Sometimes the Oreos put up a quite a bit of a fight. Just gotta really get in there. Need some thicker-cut strawberries since Jesus. the brown cake is very crumbly at the bottom. Wow. You should always practice premier knife skills. You definitely don't want to cut your finger. <sighs> oh, hole in the bag. Code red. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Uh, just be careful now. It looks pretty crushed, anyways. Oh, whole show is ruined. So, it's all right. Oh, God. Jake, if you want to use some of those, maybe set in a nice Oreo layer. 
into that. And just practice very careful skills. Shy light. I'm going to pinch the hole. Don't use them all, Jake. Don't forget, this is only one layer. We've got a layer in this. So just be very careful. That's such a terrifying thing for someone to say. Just be very careful. OK, here I go. Look at that. You're being very careful. That's, that's a good size layer. Right we there. need a lot more layer. We, uh, we, we you spread it out. It'll be a nice Oh, mix. never mind. And, you know, we do have. Our crew is signaling that we have a new bag. Whew. I'm going to use just a little more to sprinkle it, Matthew. All right, don't forget, we've got to put some whipped cream on that, too. Saute everyone, it. Everyone loves whipped cream. I do not like seeing gaps where I see brownie. Nothing pisses me off more. OK, wow, that looks so good. All right, Jake. If you would like to add on some of these strawberries into the layer. OK, let me wash my hands. All right. I will add in some of the strawberries. <laughs> We're just going to mix them around. Mix them in there. Again, I like to do some of the thicker chunks because Jake crumbled that brownie really good. We're going to need something to your fork or spoon can sort of scoop up, and I think the strawberries will help that. All right, that's a good mix of a layer right there. Chick, what do you think about some whipped cream on this bad boy? Wow, sure. Chick, you want to try a piece of the strawberry? Oh. You interested? Mm. I think I may have touched your tongue, so I'm going <laughs> to wash my hands now. You definitely touched my tongue. Because I'm getting a little extra salt that's definitely not strawberry. Um, okay, spoon for the... Oh. I don't think I've ever seen this much whipped cream in my life. Matt? Matthew? Matthew, does this look normal? Um, don't. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Don't do it! Okay. Alright, so. Whew. Wow, that got really intense really see, quickly. As you see, you can see here, is whipped topping. So before we put it on, we want to, you know, whip it a little bit. Wouldn't that make, does it, wouldn't you think it's whipped? I mean, you could think that, but it's been sitting in a fridge, so I mean, it does freeze up a little bit. We've got to make sure, you know, it's okay. a little frozen down deep in there. That's okay. Wow. We're gonna mix that around. Wow. Now you just got to really get in there. Looks like snow. It does look like snow. It might even taste like it. Cooking with a kindergartner. It looks white. Good. Nice. Really whip it. Yeah, it's Whew. still pretty frozen, but that's okay. Good. All right, we can add some more. Uh, really? It's going to be a little chunky, but that's okay. Frozen chunks are good. According. <laughs> you know, it's just adds character. Builds character. Disclosure, we have no idea what we're doing if it hasn't become clear. <laughs> we know exactly what we're doing. Got to put that at the bottom of the video. Do not try this. It may not be healthy or what are the odds you eat a scoop of it? And if we have some left over at the end, potential. All right. So this isn't very melted, but we're going to just try to mix it around a little bit. Really saute it. Strawberry. Oh, Good. Yes. I think, Matt, I think we needed to do a lot more to get that cool image. You know, like the, like the. We probably did. It's okay. We're working, we're working with limited supplies. It's all about the top. It's all about what the top looks like. You know? Because when, when your Valentine opens this up, if you wrap it, which I guess would be kind of weird. It's food. <laughs> but if, if you do, and they open it up, no one was calling you out for it, but... Sorry, I called myself out. Good, good guy. Up. Very good guy. Are you single? I am not, Jake. I am not. This is how I know these skills. Did you? Something. Did you guys know that? Matt's got a crush. Jake, my heart belongs to you. Okay, all right. Good you know? save. Good recovery. All right. That's good enough. It looks a little messy. We get a nice close-up in here. You can see the bowl. beautiful layers. 
You know, it looks a little messy right now. It doesn't help. The, the whipped cream's a little frozen still. But we're going to move on to our next layer. Add some more cake on. Cake. That's Jake's job. I'm going to cut some strawberries. Save some time. No knives or heat are my rule. I'm not allowed to. It's, it's uh, a good rule. Oh, this is harder now. <laughs> all right, all right. Matt. Do, do bigger chunks. Ah! Right, watch this, Jake. We can just do bigger chunks, you know? I guess we could so do bigger chunks. And then they can really... Grab onto it. The first rule of cooking at docks is do not panic. No, the first rule is there are no rules. Cool. Second rule. Yeah, second rule, don't panic. Bigger chunks, you know, their forks will be able to really get through it. Or spoons be able to See, scoop it up. See, you keep saying this stuff, and I can't Dude. tell if you're just really good at, like, Dude, I'm like bullshitting, I but <laughs> have you done this before? I mean, the forks eaten, are going to get the chunks? I've, like, I've eaten a lot of food in my oh, lifetime. Oh, thank God my you know, fork found this chunk. Thank God they didn't break it up anymore. I've eaten a lot of food in my lifetime. I know, when you scoop this out, you're going to want some big chunks. You know? Wow. Okay, Let's I'm see. with you. See, I've never ate truffle before. There's a little subtle joke there. Were you joking? Are you, are you no. Sure? I mean, yeah. you know that because I've asked you like 12 times how you actually say it. Very true. If you want to put some more Oreos in I think I need a new bag. Well, we'll finish up this bag. Oh, this is just nasty to touch. This is like the worst texture feeling in the world. We're just getting rid of that layer idea. It doesn't need to look pretty. We're going to make the top look pretty. It's going to make up for everything on the inside. You know, they say don't judge a book by its cover, but this is something that you're going to want to judge by its cover. Is any coming out? I'm going to have to get in there and get some scoop out of there. So, so that frosting. <laughs> Oh, it's like wet sand or wet creamy dirt. You're gonna want to eat this. <laughs> My hands only just rip. Oh, okay. Yesterday I discovered the value menu at McDonald's. That's one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh value. my God, that's dangerous. I know. They brought back the one dollar burgers. They, they got one dollar burgers for and three dollar Happy Meals. Free toy. Like what? Free toy. And you can get apple slices. I had and three fries. McChicken things for three dollars. McChickens are good. They're it's too protein. good. I guess. Thank you though for looking at it with a health. Try, try to defend. Yeah, me. please. I do my best. Yeah, I was wondering why I woke up Make sweating. Make sure you save so. some of those cookies for the top, though. Too. You don't want to crush them all. That's where we're making our money's worth on the top. How many do you need? Uh, yeah, that's probably. Good. Maybe, maybe, maybe a little more. We don't have enough. Dude, we have enough. That was 14 cookies in there for that little layer. Dude, and now we have, I f do not like this feeling on my hand. <clears throat> Ooh. How's uh, strawberries coming? Oh, they're coming. Cool. I feel like there's a better way to do this. This is a... Oh, you know what? This is maybe how the hole got in the bag in the first place. <laughs> Quite very true. You gotta, you gotta be delicate, man. Very, very delicate with them, Oreos. I'm just gonna... This has been the most effective method, by the way. It's very delicate. It feels very, very primitive, but this has done it the best. Sometimes going back to our origins is the best option. A little history lesson. Wow. Great nice call thing. to punch him earlier. The nice thing about this dish is that, like Jake and I, you don't need to have a bunch of experience. You can really just throw anything into a bowl and that'll taste good together. And you just have a whole put hole in that. No? Done. Oh. Matt's like elegantly cutting strawberries, and I'm like, stupid Oreos. Are you an Oreo fan, Jake? I am. These are not Oreos anymore. Actually, if you need more, I do have some Oreos in my backpack, fun fact. Like four or like, like another? Like a whole sleeve, dude, honestly. 
I really do. I look forward to using them later with some milk, but if we need to make our crackle look good, we definitely use that. Wow, that smells delicious. Alright, if you want to get ready to put another layer of whipped cream on. Whipped cream? I thought I was doing this. Oh, you want to put more Oreos in that cookie? Yeah, you can do that too. That works. Another layer of Oreos. Do you know what you're doing or not? I like, know what I'm doing. You can do, that's the thing. You can really do this a billion different ways. Matt's making pizza. He's like, eh, you can do the cheese first. You can do the tomato sauce first. Doesn't matter. It's yeah, the you pizza. You never had pepperoni under the cheese? You know? Come on. I don't know. I don't know what you're saying now. Now I'm confused. All right, whipped cream time. Just use a, just use a nice thin layer of whipped cream. So we're getting close to a, there's not much whipped cream left. I'm whisking it. A lot of strawberries in this. And it's working. We might actually just want to do another layer of Oreos and do that, save that for the top layer. What do you think? Is this a joke? Are we getting this? <laughs> we're the no, worst no, it's couple. Just, it's just not much. We want to make the top look nice. That's where we're going to make the money. I mean, you can see some nice layers. Okay, okay fine. Last. What do you think? Put some more, some more crushed Oreos in there. I don't know. Are you going to change your mind? <laughs> Wait. Uh, actually, I think you need to scoop uh, all those out. and. <laughs> Can you individually pick out Coffee, each? You're making a mess, man. You're making a mess. This isn't a clean process, Matt. Look at the bag. <laughs> wow. You know, next time we should Yo, take the, the Low take the key. Off, low key. Everybody thing. wants to. Yeah. Everybody wants to take this bag back, fold it inside out, and eat it in their bed at 2 a.m. on a Saturday <laughs> night. That's pretty <laughs> accurate. <laughs> accurate statement. I was thinking it. I was thinking it. But I'm eyeballing it. It looks good. Who doesn't love Oreo frosting? I mean, all the Oreo frosting just wedged into the side of the bag. Ah, oh, I gotta touch it again. No one's gonna wanna eat this because of me. Everyone is gonna wanna eat this because of you. You see Parks and Rec with Rob Lowe and Adam Scott, how they're the opposites? You know what's funny about that? Is That's that pretty much how this is going. I now have a guy at work whose name is Rob Lowe, and there's been so many jokes. Oh, I think you told me about that. Yeah, so many jokes. It's hilarious. All right, Jake. Well,. What do we think about, uh, what do we think about putting this bad boy, uh, cake on? In the oven? Nope. <laughs> Not in the oven, Dick. Not in the oven. What do we think about putting this one, uh, last layer of cake on? I've washed my hands like 200 times. I don't know what I'm doing. And then we can put that on, and then we'll make some nice, uh, lovely design at the top. Cool, yeah, sure. Alrighty. Here, Jake. Stupid. I'll give you half. Which half do you want? The you bigger can... one. I think this one's bigger. Who are you? The most like positive, happy person? I am the most positive. Things are beautiful. Things are beautiful. Jake. Mine was clearly bigger. Any day. I think mine's bigger. Any day. Or it's got better you texture, or character. I don't know what was what was worse, the banter when we broadcasted that soccer game, or uh, I got or so banter. bored by like the 67th minute, and then I just was like, I don't even know. I don't even care if they ask me to do this again. So I just started talking. Yeah, yeah Twitter, Twitter, Twitter didn't take kindly to that. Yeah, I didn't, uh, didn't really have a lot of remorse. All right, Jake, what do you think? Add on that whipped cream, buddy. Yeah. Make this, this has got to be a nice layer, though, because we're going to make the design on top. All right, we have a lot. We're doing it all yeah, now. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Wait, but we have to have to save that scoop for when you eat a huge scoop. Oh, all right, perfect. Yes, wow. Ooh. <laughs> Not my PJs. <sighs> Nice. This is looking good. I like where Like this is the going. Indians, we use every part of the Cool Whip. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Right. That's you want me to spread it around or you want to spread it around? I want to spread it around. All right, spread it around, man. I didn't like how you did it last time. Look at that. Spread it so as well. You guys have to chop up a few more strawberries. The trick is not to touch the chop. Oh, God, we touched it. <laughs> Because then it comes up and literally right as I said that. You jinx yourself. You jinx yourself. I constantly jinx myself. I love, I think it's so funny telling when it's a, like there's a chance of a snow day, telling everyone that there's no chance you have school tomorrow. There's no way we don't have, we have school then, tomorrow. And then you wake up, yeah. And you have school. Like, you have school. They're like, well, it's, it's like, like the stats are clearly bad. But you just say, I, there's no chance. Yeah, drink, have a beer. No, there's no way we have school tomorrow. Are you sure? Yeah, did I check the weather? And they wake up at 8 a.m.? They're just like, And realize they the have to go to their class. 
Man, I think, oh no. All right, Jake, that's a good job, buddy. Saved it. Look at this. Yeah, looks good. We're gonna cover it with strawberries and Oreos, so it's okay. This is the hardest thing I've worked on in my life. You're like the Picasso of trifles. Look at that, you're just painting it nice and well. Wow. Tremendously proud of my efforts. Oh, I am, have you seen The Office? I have seen The Office. I am tremendously proud for what I did for that turtle. Remember when Kevin kills the turtle the entire summer? I do. Right. Oh, that's a bad strawberry. It is a bad strawberry. But we're still going to use it because we're making use of our resources. <laughs> All right, so what I'm thinking, Jake, is we make oh, these strawberries we're... into the shape of a heart. Okay. Are you capable? Probably not, but I'll try. All right, perfect. That's what I like to hear. I'll, I'll do the first one. I'll... Oh, per... perfect. perfect. First. first... I'll, I'll do the second and third ones. How's that sound? Okay. All right. You want me to do the 4th and 5th and 6th and 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th? You obviously ninth. have a vision you're going for, so. I do have a vision. We'll see if it comes true. To be honest, disclosure, I don't even think I can draw a heart that looks nice. So I'm really bad at drawing hearts. I watch some people that whip out, like, all the girls are happy right now, and there's, like, 2 million beautiful hearts. And I'm like, how do you make it look symmetrical? Would you say like, that geez. you are heartless? Okay. A little real, but. Actually, Jake, do, I, do you trust yourself with a knife to chop some more strawberries? We're gonna need some more. Nope, but we can find out. Perfect. Did you just chop them on a counter? Where'd you chop them right here? On the plate. This is like a rounded plate, Matt. Ha! Ah. Okay. Okay, watch out for my fingers. Oh, I'm not even slicing properly. Jake, this looks pretty good, actually. This, this actually looks like. Well, I'm done with the Wait, knife. What do you think about that? That is really good. Your, your Valentine is going to love this. They are just going to absolutely... I don't have a Valentine, Matt. Thanks for bringing that up. So if any moms are watching this... No, just kidding. All right. I felt like a weird thing to say, but I figured we didn't have a lot of student body. Is this what you wanted? I yeah, just went that's what for I wanted. It. it really is going to you know, uh, bring out that strawberry heart. You might need to cut some of these to make it fit. All right, what do you think about splitting one in half here? You think you can cut, cut an Oreo like perfectly in half? Or do you think it will crumble? I think it's pretty clear with Ultimate me and test. knives. Oh, that's pretty good. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, come on, man. I just chopped this for nothing now. You sure did. What do you think? We could go, we could go around it, too, if you want. I don't think we should push it. No? I think it looks pretty. What do you think? I love it. Is there anything more we can do to it? It's definitely not as pretty as I imagined. And it has a very Mickey Mouse vibe because the Oreos... I like it, though. I like it. It has character, you know? Well, you can nice. definitely see an attempt of layers, but yeah, you, you can see it. You can see it. It looks more like uh, is this a one-person thing or? Uh, Wait, no, that would mean someone has to eat an entire family-sized pack of double-stuffed Oreos, an entire thing of. Oh my God, this should be a challenge. This should be a challenge, actually. The Jake and Matt trifle, trifle challenge. Or the diarrhea challenge. Holy crap! You would die if you ate this. Challenge accepted? Is that Don't strawberries have great fiber, too? This is a trap. Okay. I can't believe you're going to eat this whole thing, Matt. You know? What are you doing to the edges as if like it's going to make it look better? This doesn't look, look great. Nice we tried our best. Yeah. Let's get a nice close-up of this. As you can see, <laughs> it is a pretty nice heart. The love is there. Love is not blind. Although, me and Jake wish it were, so we that you wouldn't have to look at, at this <laughs> The good thing is, is it's gonna, it's gonna taste really good. Um, when your fork finds those big chunks. What do you think? We need, I think we need to taste this. Sure. I think we need some. I'll have a bite. A, a bite? Pass me my biggest spoon. All right, Jake, uh, this is a one bite scoop. <laughs> um, how do you feel? Actually, wait, this might be an Instagram. Ellie, wait, you thought wait, spatula wait, was wait, gonna wait, be wait, the wait, best wait, bet wait, for wait, this? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let me just flip it wait, real quick. This is an Instagram opportunity. We may need to take a picture of this first. We should. All right, I'll, I'll get my phone, Jake. Okay. I'll take a picture. Soup's on. I want to know how to make soup. That way I can say that when my roommates come into the room. All right, all right. And then these lovely ladies are going to take a picture of both of us holding it, Jake. Look at this. All right, nice production assistant. That was I, kind I of tell where the fun is. and degrading to say to people. Perfect. 
tomorrow. I've been working on looking less creepy in photos. Perfect, perfect. And now the moment we've all been waiting for. Jake is going to eat this Oreo. Mm. Oh, the talent. Oh, the talent. And now mm. we have the opportunity. Plates, spatulas, spoons. This is the moment of truth. Jake? Um, I don't think the there's a good way of doing this. Like, how do you approach this thing? It's a spoon. You scoop it. Jake, good, good. <laughs> wow. And you can see the whipped cream kind of holds it all together. <laughs> that way it doesn't look like... <laughs> Alright, Jake, I think this is a good opportunity for We could have just crumbled all this stuff and <laughs> shook it just... in a garbage bag. Oh, no. That's alright. Here's a spoon for you, Jake. And a spoon for me. Oh, hold on. I think I made it worse. Alright, take your scoop and then, uh, and then... You, I got <laughs> strawberry on mine because I thought you... Dude, this is hard. This is, this is going to be hard. Thank you. We're going to wear this. Really hard. <laughs> Wait, you should... I'm uh, so focused on my bite. Wait, should okay. we feed ourselves? We should interlock arms and feed... Oh, dude. Oh, there's too much talk. That's actually pretty good. That was delicious. That's really good, actually. That's actually so good. I mean, you can't really go wrong. It's... I think we, I think we hit the nail on the head. Yeah, I mean, it was like no chance for us failing because I think we did fail and it came out great, so. So, I mean, if you're looking for a nice, easy, you have no skill, you're two uh, college dudes that are just looking to impress your women, this is a great chance. And you know how to make brownie cake, and you have a budget where you can buy strawberries, Oreos, a jug of whipped topping. Yeah, this is the perfect meal for you. Yeah, and... I think that'll do it here for Cooking yeah. at Dots. Again, Jake. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. I'm Matt Pritchard. I'm Jake Lambert. And this was Cooking at Dots.